Good evening, guys, and welcome back to Morant's Rants. Plenty of good information, a little bit of motivation, a whole lot of truth, no financial advice. I got my celebration drink going on here. Wife made me a drink with some tahine, some, I don't know, it's really good. We're getting ready to go out like we do every weekend, but I want to tell you something. I'm paying attention to Bed Bath & Beyond one last day. I know a lot of people are celebrating right now. They're out spending money on Super Chats and promoting the fact that Bed Bath & Beyond is going to get saved and or something's going to happen. Nothing's happening. So all the employees that ever worked at Bed Bath & Beyond don't work there anymore. A lot of them are already gone. Uh, if you saw the farewell letter, kind of told you everything you need to know. And that's Dave Caston wrote this letter here. And he said, first, uh, thank you to Sue Gove for recruiting me to join our, your efforts into transforming this business. Now, the whole deal is they knew they were going to go bankrupt. They went ahead and hired him in that December, February time frame in that window where they started bringing on everybody. And he went on to list everyone he's worked with here. And a lot of these guys I didn't even know existed. I didn't know they worked for Bed Bath & Beyond. So I had to start looking them up because I'm looking for their next you know, job, where they're going and where they're headed. And so that's how Connect the Dots really works for me. I'm able to see the board of directors and or any executives that work for the company, and I can tell you if they're going bankrupt on purpose, which a lot of them are because of private equity and the influence they have. So I look down here, and he says here, as for me, this is his letter to the people that he's just thanking, you know, that he worked with them for. You know, and then he writes here, as for me, I'm looking for my next opportunity, opportunity, ultimately general counsel at a public company worth one way for growth. I mean, that's just not true, right? That's um, that wants to transform or turn around or a private company looking to go public. I'm also open to board seats and consulting work. I mean, this is like his resume. Is he actually fishing out there? Is this Indeed.com? I don't know what the hell he's doing other than to tell you that he's entrusted someone with the IP and the great history of this company and blah, blah, blah. They sold off this company. They tore it apart. They did venture capitalism at, or vulture capitalism at its finest. And that's what happened. So when you start looking at all these people, I want to go down the list of them really quick. And we're not going to name them all, but like Kristen Meeskill, I believe that's her name. When you look at it, she's at Bed Bath & Beyond full-time for two years. So she was brought in just for the bankruptcy and what it was. You know, and if you looked at her previous employment, right here, this Mon, um, Mondell's International, whatever it may be, that's all private equity now. That's Kraft. They actually bought out Kraft. But you guys have to know like the track record follows them, right? So... There's one person that I'll be looking for. The next person here that we're bringing up is going to be Wade Haddon. Wade is already at Ross. He's been at Ross for two months, right? So you guys got to know these are like individuals that were at Bed Bath & Beyond, but this whole time the people have been telling you this company's going to get saved or it's going to get transformed. They don't exist anymore, guys. And as you look at this, he also used to work for Ann Taylor, Loft, um, Lane Bryant, uh, Maurice's, and then Dress Barn. So all of that right there, that's all been bankrupt already. They already all filed for bankruptcy, and that's where he used to be beforehand. But that's all private equity and what we call category killers. Also, Anne as well, and that's what part of it. So um, you got to know that they were already going into that direction, right? They were going to blow up the company from within. That's what they're there to do. This young lady here, she's already at a new firm for six months, and that's where they're working. Um, Lori, and I don't even know how to say her last name. I'm not going to try. But Dave Caston gave us the keys. Rich McGuire, how you doing? Uh, this young man is already working for six months now at Bosch Health Companies. So he's got a new job. Don't worry, we're looking for everybody, guys. And a lot of these actually like reconfirm what we already knew. So like Jeff Cohen, I never really heard of this guy. And guess what? He was Toys R Us. He was Toys R Us and only for the 10 months that he was there. But of course, he was also part of this private equity firm, like I told you, at that Asina retail group. So JC, JRC Consulting, the same thing. These guys all come from the same from the same camp. He was at Bed Bath Beyond a long time ago and then came back to blow it up. He's only been there for two years, guys. There's a reason why they only came in for the two-year run. This one, three years. And before that, Party City. Party City just about three years ago. So to go from one bankrupt company that had private equity tear it apart to the next one. So St Stefan, Stefan did the same thing. Here we go with uh, Elena Matis, uh, Matisse. Elena here, she's at Bed Bath & Beyond just for the breakup for two years and three months. And she's already back at Alvarez & Marsal. We know who that is. That is... Additionally, not only the consulting firm for private equity cons consulting firm, that's also where Sue Gove used to work as well. So you knew that the writing was on the wall for them. And Sue Gove obviously got her a job because she's there for eight months now and looking great after these guys filed for bankruptcy. Um, 
biz, I don't even know how to say this first time. I'm just going to say business, right? Business Scott, whatever it may be. But if you look here, this individual before joining Bed Bath Beyond, do you know where this person used to work? Golfsmith International Holdings, guys. That corporate secretary at Golfsmith International Holdings. You know who used to be the CEO of that company? Sue Gove, before they went bankrupt. Uh, this guy's already left Bed Bath & Beyond, and he was only there for nine months, so you can imagine, just for the bankruptcy part, and he's already moving on to other things, so we'll be looking for you, Bart. He's on the board of directors. Uh, he does marketing, chief marketer for Bed Bath & Beyond. Everybody has a new job. This individual left Bed Bath & Beyond after two years. There was, she was there for two years, like everyone else, and she also worked with Dave Kasten at the vitamin shop right here vitamin shop when they were doing their whole restructuring now she's over here at lowe's she's the vice president of inventory planning and allocation yeah already at lowe's for two months she got a new job everybody asks how can you get a new job and you destroyed the company from within i don't go ask guys like this who's already at big lots as the senior vice president of chief supply chain officer for two months now that's juan guerrero yes you already have a new job how about Scott Lindblom here? Scott, guess where he was before he ever got to Bed Bath & Beyond for the three years just to tear him apart, right? Uh, he was at Michael's for six years and five months. Who owns Michael's? Apollo. That's who owns Michael's. I wonder how. This young lady, Julie Strider, she was at Macy's. Numerous positions at Macy's. It's so fitting, right? Macy's is like one of the kingpins for uh, private equity as they bought him out. Another individual here, Nicole Coakley Dunlap. Macy's and Bloomingdale's. Bloomingdale's for 23 years. Private equity just written all over it. Um, you have another guy by the name of Paul De P Prema. I believe that's how you say his name. Now look at this. 22 years of Bed Bath & Beyond. And you're like, really? Did he really prep it that way? Go look at this drugstore deal here. He worked at the Genovese. I forget. That's like that, that mafia name guy, but they're, it's not related to them. The New York family. You, know, I don't, you guys know how to say their names. I don't care. The drugstores. 1978 to 2000. Do you know who bought out these drugstores, guys? Do you know what he was part of? Now, that's CVS. And you know about CVS and the partnership that they've had. Remember, when you control the pharmacies, well, then you can control what the hell Albertsons is, CVS, and Rite Aid are. And that's all private equity driven. Macy's again for this young lady, Diana. She was at Macy's well before she was anywhere else for a lot of years. And then she found her way for a year and 10 months. Who's coming to a dying company like Bed Bath & Beyond? All of them, right? And here you go, Tracy. She was over here at Bed Bath & Beyond as well. So what I'm telling you is you can follow it all, and then you can also do this. I'm going to show you guys something that people need to pay attention to. Um, just the truth. This is Bed Bath & Beyond. This is the chart. This is the chart. And this is the pump. This is everything that this company was. And then this is when they started taking all the value out of it. When did you hear about it? Somewhere over here. When we say it's a pump and dump, and then, of course, Wall Street gets their hands on it. And you would think Ryan's to blame for a pump that happened somewhere right here. Is this, is this Ryan pumping and dumping a stock? Or is this Ryan coming in and thinking, you know what, maybe I can fix this problem that has happened. But the truth is, it was already in decline. They were already hiring people for this whole window here just to pump the rest of the equity out of it and call it bankrupt. It's over. It ended in a bad, sad way. But some people are out there celebrating and grifting off of the people in the crowd for all you cats that got into it somewhere over here where no one even cared just remember the big guys pumped it and dumped it on you it was a long time ago guys you guys just didn't know what the hell you were buying you didn't do the homework you didn't do the research and you sure as hell didn't connect the dots remember me i'm the one who told you they're all bad guys follow them to the next job and you'll see exactly what i'm talking about but me, I'm at GameStop. Can't stop, won't stop, GameStop. Do your homework, millionaires. I've been around for a minute. Peace.